Welcome to Champions Corner. We're here with Matt Hendricks, winner of the 2013 Cutter Creek Classic presented by Bojangles. Matt, uh, great week for you out here. You played well. Uh, you had to make a beautiful up and down birdie to, on the final hole of regulation and then you won it in the playoff. Uh, talk a little bit about your round and getting into the playoff. Uh, you know, started off really well today. Um, played a very solid front nine, birdie the two par fives, uh, made the turn at uh, two under, bogey 10, and then got three birdies in a row on 11, 12, 13. And right then I knew I would kind of be in the mix. And when I finally got to the leaderboard on 15, I saw that there was a number of guys, uh, probably four or five, six guys, depending on how they played the last three holes, that could win this golf tournament. So, um, Coming down to the 18th, I knew it would be a pivotal hole, you know, being a reachable par five. Um, winds were favorable. Um, really not much wind there, so everybody was probably going to get home in two, and, uh, you know, Eagle could win it for anybody. But made my birdie, big up and down, like you said, on the last in regulation. Um, had to make about a six, seven footer. And uh, then was very fortunate I hit two of the best golf shots of the week uh, in the, on the two playoff holes, uh, going for the par five twice. Matt, not only do you win the, your first NJ Tour event, but you also get an exemption into the Utah Open on the Web.com Tour. Uh, you're playing well. You play well out there, and things, and you do have status. Something could change, and uh, we may not see you again. Well, you know, <laughs> I've enjoyed my time out here this year. I really have. But um, like you said, I do have some status, so that week in Utah could be a big week. If I can bring, you know, my A game like I had this week, then I can – you know, change what happens for the rest of the year. Um, so it's a big week for me. Um, hopefully get in there, get a good finish, and, you know, make enough money to let me finish the season out there and uh, maybe make a push during the new playoff system. But um, as of right now, I'm just focus on the upcoming week off, and I think I've gotten better at that as far as enjoying my week off. And... Uh, you know, when I come to the tournament, working hard, and so I still have, you know, we still have a couple events in Mississippi, Louisiana, before Utah. So I, hopefully, I can keep playing well. I'm gonna keep working at it and take the same game up to, up to Utah. We talked a little earlier about seeing some of the veterans that come out of the NJ Tour uh, doing well on the PGA Tour, and how how much that uh, affects the guys that are still here grinding away. Just talk a little bit about that. It's a big boost when you see guys, you know, like more recently like Ted Potter. Um, you know, your whole life can change in, in one year. And also we were talking about, you know, some of the guys really not getting their first shot or figuring out how to make things work on the big tour until later on in their 30s. And, uh, you know, I was telling you that, you know, I'm 32 and I've been at it for quite a while now. Um, and maybe hopefully that's something that you know I'll be on that kind of career path that's a little delayed but you know if it comes great uh, but I truly think that my game's in a great great place right now um, been doing a lot of work and talking with Dennis O'Donovan up at RTJ Golf Club and uh, just in a good place um, hopefully I can just keep it rolling for the rest of the year You've been out here for a while and you also had some uh, spent some time on the PGA and web.com tour. There's a lot of people that have to sacrifice for you to do that. Uh, who are those people and uh, what do they mean to you? Uh, my family. First and foremost, uh, my wife, uh, Melanie. Anybody that has a husband that travels for a living, and especially something like this, you know, that they're, she's basically a single mother when I'm gone, and only single mothers out there can understand what it's like. It's not easy working a full time job and taking care of our son and uh, we have one on the way due in December so not only that she's pregnant and uh, but you know she puts up with a lot I'm not there she has to deal with a lot she has to handle basically everything you know in our personal lives and uh, you know I can't say enough about her um, I know she goes through a lot and sometimes I know we all feel bad for being on the road at times so often throughout the year but um, you know, it takes a really, a really strong person, a strong woman back at home to uh, put up with something like this. But also all the rest of my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, um, just always being there, 
always root me on, still telling me, keep pushing on, keep doing it, you know, don't give up. So, you know, there, there's a long list I could go through, but, uh, but that mainly, you know, my wife and my family. All right. Congratulations on your first win and thank you for your time. Thank you.